Ash, how are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, we're back on the racing green, doing a bit of fabrication, repairing that tow board, and we're gonna see if we can get the front floor pan in and all that part of it finished. But before we get into that, I just wanted to shout out and say thank you very much to Sean Heath. When I put out the last video saying I was missing the center cap for the Mistral alloy wheels, a few people contacted me. Sean put me in contact with a seller that was selling a whole wheel, a wheel and tire with the center cap for only 15 quid uh, through Facebook Marketplace. So I contacted the guy and said, look, I just want the center cap. I'm willing to pay 15 quid. Can you put it in the post? And he did. So thank you very much, Sean. That's really, really useful. That's one bit I really needed. Obviously, Bingley Hall Mini Fair last week. Um, I actually bought very, very little while I was up there. I literally just bought some more uh, cutting discs and some spare belts for the belt sander. So a few people have mentioned in the past, actually, how handy a belt sander is, when, it, especially when you come to trying to get into corners and clean up your welds. So I've bought a Sealy 240 volt mains powered belt sander. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know what I think of it. I think it will be, yeah, I mean, I usually use flat disc to clean up the weld, but you can just clean them up a bit, bit nicer with a belt sander. I do have a compressor, so I could have got an air powered one, but it's always a little bit of frustrating with air powered tools. Unless you're using them all the time, you've obviously got to plug the compressor in, let it build up the pressure. Um, and obviously then you've got airline hoses running around the garage as well. So mains power is much easier. It's probably more cost effective than powering up a belt sander through a compressor as well. Um, and then just finally, yeah, a bit boring, some Zintec steel to repair the tow board. So let's get onto it. Let's get some more repairs done and get the racing green closer to being finished. Okay, so before we get started, just a bit of a recap. Um, we need to make a piece to go in here on the tow board. And then obviously we've got our full floor pan there ready to go in. So the first thing we need to do, bit of cardboard aided design, get the old Kellogg's packet out and let's draw a shape to cut out of steel. Other breakfast cereals are available. However, they're not guaranteed to be as accurate for cardboard aided design as Kellogg's Rice Krispies.
strengthening plate. It's like a glove. Right, now to get it welded in.
think that is it for this episode. Next episode, we'll get the floor pan in. The uh, belt sander, yeah, not overly impressed. It's a bit slow and is, uh, yeah, it doesn't have the RPM, I don't think. It's much, much quicker with a flat disc on the angle grinder. But it is all right for refining those little bits. So it is all getting there. Like I say, next episode, I think, is going to be putting a floor pan in.